Hi, welcome back to King's Quest. This episode, we're looking for a Chaka who disappeared down the well. We are supposed to get a autograph off him to say that he has left the competition. I'm sort of guessing that things probably won't go to plan and I'm walking in the wrong direction. This is where I was looking for. So I need to use an overly complex weed whacker. Well, I presume we don't need that weed whacker again, and if we do, it's probably going to take us a while to find it. This place looks very familiar. You might recognise it from the first episode where we went down this well in search of a mirror. Just having a quick wander around to see if there's anything else in the area. Doesn't look like there is, so uh, we'll head down there. A chocolate was last seen headed down here. Shame he didn't find his eye in time for the tournament. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that he had Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. <laughs> ah, I see. So this is this takes place before the story in the first episode. There's no coins down here at the moment. Let's head down here for the second time, or I suppose it would be the first time. I oh. don't think he knew the competition was over. Perhaps if he brought back an eye, they would let him back in. Probably an addendum for that. Yes, probably is. It was this one, wasn't it? Hey, I need you to sign this. You missed the deadline. Ah, uh, come on, Achaka. What's in this area? I'm just going to quickly check down here. There wasn't much to see that way, so I turned around and went back. Follow him down, then. The dragon! Stalarma. Athamata. Mata. I'm just following him at the moment. I suppose you noticed that our descent down here was as graceful as ever. What a... Afamata. 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 Was Afamata? Was it right across? And Afamata. then forward? Yeah. Wow. 
water. And then we paused there for some tea and cake. No, we did it. We did. We did. We had a little picnic right underneath that spiked um, club. Water. Let's try and be a little bit more careful this time, shall we? Oh, come on! And then we pause there for yes, okay, tea and cake, I know. Gonna have to watch this again now. What a... I really wish you could skip these cutscenes when you've seen them before. I mean, I know the route, it's just the timing that I'm getting wrong at the moment. There we go. I think we may have just messed up that for a chaka. My um, my game actually went to the desktop then because of some stupid Windows message about an upgrade. So I wasn't actually in the bloody game when I died. Let's try that again. Go, 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 go. Well, this is very dramatic. Go on.
He was still after that eye, despite my trying to stop him. Go! 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 Go on, go! Oh no! I toasted to my new fire-breathing friend. Grandpa! At least it's not too far behind. Right, wait a minute. Go on. I'm not going quite yet because he's likely to pop around at any minute. There we go. Right, quickly, quickly. Ouch. Um, okay, not sure what either of these choices do. Oh, obviously the wrong choice. A checker must really hate us. Ooh, the amount of times we've made him miss his shot. I thought, oh. <sighs> I thought I'd press the other one last time. Ooga. Stalama! Ooga. Afanata! Okay, so I see. Afanata is going to tell him to lower the cage and Stalama would be to swap between the two levers. I think I'll go with Afanata because I think that's going to lower us Afana. to the floor. And we're free. Anything around?
Nothing on the table. No. Okay. Hey, good looking out. A chaka. A chaka. I can solve this. Don't worry. Afamata. So he wants to fire the rope onto the dragon's tail. Looks like now I needed him. Um, what does this do? Certainly not on a short leash. So that makes the dragon move. Okay. Is there anything else I can do here? Buta. Afanata. Oh, I see. Okay, so, can I use that rope? I can. Can't do anything with that there. I think that's probably just gonna. Oh no, it moves that. Buta! Afanata! No, that's not right. If I put this one on. Buta! Yep, go on, shoot it. That means I can then get over here. And then what? Move this. Oh, I think I see. No, don't do that quite yet. I need to get back over here. So if I take this shield off, it will hit the one over there near the dragon's tail and allow me to get onto that little platform in the middle. I think. Booter! 
Half an hour. Yes. So... Fine now. No, I didn't want to do that. Get down. Hmm. Do I have to move this again? No. See, I think you have to put the shield on. On this bit here. Oh, there we go. It was just a matter of being in the right place. Buddha. Yes. There we go. Now if I go and ring the bell. Yeah, now go and ring the bell. That should make the dragon move. Thank you, Achaka. Thought he might have uh, left us there on our own for a bit there. You gonna give me a uh, a lift up? Uh, no, I think we won't jump there. We'll uh, we'll check over here first. Do you think we can actually do it? Same for there. I did it, Mom! It's getting very cramped.
perhaps there's an addendum that will let you back into the tournament if you bring back an eye? Shreki, Alpha Mata. Couldn't have said it better myself. Give him a push. You know what? He entered the tournament and he obviously wants a hat and I. Is that the bow I picked up at the beginning? I'm done. I am done. This is not for me. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going home. Where I belong. I was promised wonder and adventure and fantastical floating islands. And what I got was a Daventry that will never live up to what it once was. Daventry needs you, Graham. I know it's not what you expected, but give it time. We can work through the kinks together. It can be great once again with the right people in charge. I'm not that person. And you should stop believing in me. It could get you killed. Fine. Leave. Be a dentist for all I care. I guess the Chaka was wrong. What? What? Eh, nothing. It was nice meeting you, Graham. Spill it. Well, a Chaka and I were chatting during your chivalry test, and he had some thoughts about you. Didn't you find it odd that Achaka entered this tournament, Graham? Did he ever tell you why? Well, he might have. But I only learned two words of his language. A horrendous famine struck Achaka's village, Ichtuwe. He left his suffering family to enter this tournament. He hoped to seek an audience with the king to plead for help. It was a long shot, even for him. Great. So because of me, a whole village will starve. That makes me feel better. No. Because of you, a village will be saved. Achaka was impressed by you. He told me he was watching you on your travels to Daventry, and that you seemed like the type of person that could inspire change. More so than those bucket heads, anyways. I... I... Uh... If you're not going to compete for yourself or me, do it for the Ichtuans. They need you. You're their last hope. Well, I'm not sure <clears throat> if the choice I made there would have made any difference to the outcome, but you know, I thought that that was the best option. Achaka entered the tournament, and I thought that he would want to try and stay in it. Unfortunately, that hasn't quite worked out the way that I planned. But there's no going back, and there's no changing the choices that I've made. So on that somber note, I'm going to end this episode. 
In the next one, we will progress with the tournament. And, uh... Hopefully, Achaka will rest in peace. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.